Hello, it's Neil Lebeter here. I'm the archive curator at the gallery. I'm going to shock you all and uh, combine the last two weeks of Bob's residency into one final nail-biting episode. So, like Lost or something will have will have gone back in time or something stupid by the end of it. Uh, here you can see the colour really coming into the signs now. Um, I was in the studio not as much in the final two weeks as I was in the first two. So I would see the work at far more staggered stages than I had done before. So I kind of get used to the work that I, I would see it in its state and then I'd go away and come back and it would be completely changed. And here I think you'll see the biggest change um, in the work so far. The colour really starts to come into it now and Bob has uh, has made it really quite psychedelic. He'll explain to you at the end why that is, but I think it's the juxtaposition between the dark subject matter of the text and the actual uh, very colourful nature of it on a purely aesthetic level. So it's kind of jarring slightly, but it looks absolutely brilliant, I have to say, now that it's finished. Whilst Bob was here, um, we conducted especially in the last two weeks, we conducted uh, quite a few tours for students. Um, so I would take them down to the archive and show them some of the material that Bob's been working from. And then we'd come back up to the studio and it was a good opportunity for them to see a contemporary artist actually at work and how uh, a contemporary art gallery can accommodate an artist working in such a way and see some of the students there. The last group that we gave a tour for, which is the HNC Fine Arts students from Walsall College, I had taken them down to the archive and um, when we came back up to the, to the studio it was really cool because Bob had, uh, he had literally just finished the whole thing. So those students were the, uh, were the first people to ever see the boards entirely finished, which was great. Uh, we also went to Huddersfield as well to do a conference uh, about the project and we also talked about the, the residency as well. So I'm going to leave the, the final word on the whole project to the man himself. Okay, so Bob, congratulations on the completion of your, your large work. How do you feel having worked for four weeks on it and now you're finished? Uh, time. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it's been good, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite exhausting, really. But uh, it's quite intense working on something. You get really involved in it, and um, but it's all, there's always something with a lot of my work. There's always uh, lots of serendipitous things that come out of it, and colour relationships that you wouldn't have made. And, um, and I've think, been thinking a lot about, um, just because the colours are very, in this, the way they've worked out, they're very kind of, uh, reminds me very much of a kind of, this red and gold, and I use gold from the drop shadow, and that made me think of uh, it being a bit like an illuminated manuscript or something. And also spending ages doing it on something that's quite sad, this text, there's a disparity in the jollity of the text, and of the look of the text, and the sort of meaning in what the text says. And uh, I, I thought that was a problem to begin with, but now I really like it. And I think that's quite good. I think you look at it and think, oh, it's quite fun, that. And you can get, just look at it as a painting, like an abstract painting, and look at all the different relationships between the colours as you would look at, uh, I don't know, Mondrian or something. And, uh, and it's very, it's got a really rich surface to it. And then you read it and it's quite sad. It's, I, think, I think it's, uh, it's good for me because it's quite a powerful thing to do. Sometimes lots of my texts are quite, sort of, quite funny and this one isn't. And I think it's really good. We'll make more and more sad texts. 
So is this the, is this the, the first step in your branding of Esther as well as Mona Lisa? Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. It literally says, see Esther Warsaw's Mona Lisa. I think, I think it's going to be good. That's going to make her... It's a, it's a crazy thing to do, but I think she is like the best thing in the museum, really. The, there are other things, amazing things in the museum, like the drawing of um, Van Gogh, and um, like it's a beautiful Monet that I was looking at this morning. There are gorgeous things in the museum, but uh, but that's such a powerful sculpture and it's such a powerful story. I don't think people realise that about it, and uh, I think she is worth coming to see the museum. She is Warsaw's Mona Lisa.